Hello everyone, this is Lee and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be installing a dryer vent that goes vertically up through the roof with a hood vent on top. All right, so the goal here is to install a dryer vent. Now, this is a small space, so small that the customer had to order a stackable washer and dryer. Typically, you wouldn't see an installation like this where the metal is exposed, the duct is exposed. Normally, that duct would run underneath the house or behind the wall. However, in this situation, it was necessary. The floor was made of concrete, the three walls were made of block, and the attic barely had a crawl space. We're talking about 16 inches. We had already installed a vent and a duct to the bathroom next door. However, we didn't want to connect these two ducts together uh, because it has a long way to travel and the risk of lint getting caught and for this to be a fire hazard. So we felt like the best and safest way was for this to go straight up. So we're gonna start by measuring the distance about two inches away from the wall. We're gonna mark it. All right, and now we're gonna use a multi-tool to make the hole. Let me just show you what this looks like. All right, so I cut a hole into the attic and the first thing I see is concrete. I don't know how this got up here, but I'm gonna have to shift the hole over to the right. So always make sure before you install that there's nothing behind this wall. There are no electrical cables or plumbing or anything that's gonna cause an issue. So we have access now, direct access to the roof and that's where our duct is gonna run. So I'm gonna pass a screw right to the center and we're gonna cut a hole from the top. As you can see, there's hardly any crawl space here. There's absolutely none. All right, we're gonna make our way upstairs. And one of the complications here is that this is a flat roof. So it's difficult to add anything to this roof without the risk of any leaks. Well, this was very poorly done here. A boot should have been added to this because all the water is going inside the roof. So this is something that definitely has to be repaired. I don't know who did this. This is terrible. All right. So we found where the screw came out and now we're drilling a hole. All right, so we're placing the roof vent on top of the location where it's going to stay. We traced it with a pencil and now we're cutting out the shingle so that we could make enough space. You could see that we're cutting it a little smaller than the line that we traced so that the shingle could fit on top of the roof vent. All right, so we're testing the placement of the roof then and where it's gonna sit underneath the shingle. So we're doing this just to test it. All right, now putting the duct and the vent together with the strap to see how everything is gonna fit and to see if everything's gonna work. Next, we place the pipe inside the newly created hole to see if it fits. back downstairs to help clear all of the debris that was there. There was a big block with a metal mesh that held everything together. So we had to cut through that and clear up some space so that we could install the duct and the roof vent. All right, let's take a look to see where we're at. I had to cut this opening a lot larger. There was a big cement paver here for some reason. We had to cut through that. So we decided to split the duct into two pieces, the first half was gonna be supported by a starting collar that's usually used in AC installations, uh, but it had this neat lip that we could rest it on top of a one by two, which it could also be used to support the sheetrock. So we decided to go with this route. We added a strap to connect the duct to the hood vent and also added tape, aluminum tape around that. 
All right, so we added support for the sheetrock and now we're gonna connect the duct. All right, so here's an update on the duct. We're able to add a support for the duct using one by twos going across this way and then this way. And now we're gonna add a piece of sheetrock to cover this up, mud it up, and then this is gonna be exposed here so that anyone that wants to connect the duct, they'll have to do it right here. Um, so this should be a vertical, straight up ventilation. Uh, that'll avoid any risks of fire and it will be easy to clean out. So I installed the sheetrock, added some screws, drilled it directly into the one by twos. You can see that there's a gap there. I'm gonna fill that in with some foam and add mud. I added one by twos, two stacked one on top of the other so that I could create some space so that I could strap the duct to the one by twos. So I took a step back to take a look at the work that was completed so far to make sure that everything works before I start closing everything up. And now to apply the first layer of mudding in 10 seconds, three, two, one, done. All right, so I applied mud to seal the general area. So now what I wanna do is I wanna apply foam on the inside, foam insulation on the inside of the duct. So that way, if it ever flexes over time, the mud does not crack. So if you ever need to fill in small cracks, Loctite foam is the way to go. It's dense, it's thick, and it's a lot better than the yellow stuff that you'll purchase at the local home stores. All right, so the customer had this temporary portable lint catcher. Uh, what would happen is that once all the air from the dryer came out, it basically pushed out of those holes inside the small space and heated up the house and made the house humid. So that's why we had to install the uh, dryer vent. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this metal strap. Don't use these plastic straps because they tend to just break with the heat. They become brittle um, over time. So I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna connect this strap here. With my screwdriver. This is not a screwdriver, by the way, but you gotta use what's available. <laughs> Great. I'm using a chisel as a screwdriver, perfect. Handyman 101, just use whatever is available to you. <laughs> okay, so I connected the flex duct. It's nice and sturdy. This thing is not going anywhere. I applied the mud there and I applied insulation foam here. Once this is dry, I'm gonna cut this off and just clean it up a little bit, give it a second layer of mud, paint it, and then we call it a day. All right. Okay, so let's take a look to see what this looks like behind the wall. Can't really see it that well, but the camera can. You wanna make sure it doesn't have any kinks and it's just a straight up shot up through the roof. Okay, just turned on the dryer. This is what it's gonna look like from the outside in view. Let's go upstairs and check to see how it works. All right, let's take a look at it. Make sure, oh wow, that's a lot of pressure that's coming out of there. Yeah, there you go. So we installed the hood vent and it's pouring out of here. All the air is pouring out of here. It's sealed up perfectly. So there's no risk of any water coming in through there. So awesome job. Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> right now that the hood vent is installed, we're gonna cut out a piece of roof paper that we're gonna place over the hood vent. Right now we're gonna trace where the hood vent is gonna be located in the center of the roof paper. And then we're going to cut that section out so we could simply slip the roof paper over the vent. So after I finish marking the section that I want to cut out, simply cut it out and slip it over the vent. Now I'm going to take it back out and put tar over it. 
over the bottom, making sure I cover every area on that roof paper and place it back on top of the vent. Use a roller or something close to it so that you could smooth out the tar underneath. All right, now I'm gonna work on the PVC pipe that was sticking out of the roof. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I did with the vent. I'm gonna apply tar over the bottom, making sure I clear everything out of there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is place screws. The screws that I put in were pretty close together, about two inches apart. And now I'm placing the roof paper just to fit it, cutting out the sections to make sure it's snug and flush with the flashing. Similar to the other vent, I made sure that I applied tar paper throughout the bottom. And now I'm lifting up the sections just to make sure that everything is covered underneath. Make sure that I have enough. So the goal here is to make sure that I squeeze the roof paper and I see a little bit of tar coming out the edges and the top. I also seal the top of the rubber boot with a weather resistant adhesive. Use a rolling pin or something close to it to make sure that the tar is evenly dispersed. You can also purchase roll down roof paper that you have to install with a torch or you can go with this option. Alright, here's an update. So the flex duct was removed because it was kinking and I added a rigid duct instead. So that way it'll keep from kinking and it'll increase the airflow. Alright, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this one.